Well, hi there. This is Gus Gus. He's an Argentine black and white tegu. These are some of, if not the, most intelligent lizards on the planet. They're also the only endothermic lizards that we know of. During certain times of year, they can heat their bodies with energy from food, just like you. First thing in the morning, sun isn't even up, they're already warm and ready to go. And most of them that you see are dangerously obese. Why? Because they are dangerous lizards that love food. And for many people, the only safe way that they can interact with their tegu is to feed it heavily before they interact with it. Unfortunately, this will result in a tegu that doesn't live very long. But being intelligent and food motivated is a great recipe for success when it comes to training an animal. This is a very trainable lizard. And I want to talk to you about how I have target trained Gus Gus so that our interactions can be safe and he can be healthy and lean. But first, I already mentioned that he is a dangerous animal. Ask me how I know. I've seen it. This is an animal with massive bite force, razor sharp teeth, and the ability to run on two legs like Tyrannosaurus Rex. I have felt his bite force, and it was staggering. Uh, a few years ago, I was doing an educational presentation at a police station for the police officers and their families. And, and while I had Gus Gus out, a kid threw his shoe in. And Gus Gus is a heck of a lot like a dog. It's, it's amazing how dog-like he is. And so when he saw that shoe, he went up and he just started playing with it. In fact, that's not the first time I'd seen him play with toys like that. Um, when uh, Penny was, was fairly young, she had a, a baby doll, which she actually still has, named Baby K, who's one of those dolls that, uh, you know, you can, you can squeeze her and, and she cries, which made this kind of all the more amusing because Gus Gus was out walking around in the house and he grabbed a hold of Baby K by the head and started shaking her frantically and he was crushing her head down. When, when I, I saw this, you know, I thought, well, the, the head must be pretty soft on that doll. It was not. That, that head is very firm. His jaws are crazy. But when he had that shoe at the police station, uh, you know, I was watching him. I'm like, this is probably fine, but if he decides to try to swallow that shoe, I'm going to have a medical emergency. So I was like, I better get that shoe from him. And so I kind of, I kind of gently wiggled the shoe away from him. And, and he was good about it, but you could just see in his body language that he's like, um, but I, I would, I'd still really like to play with shoes. And it was one of those days where I was wearing shoes and he noticed that. And uh, they happened to be those indestructible shoes with the steel toes and the nail proof soles. Well, he came walking up to me. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with those shoes. Okay, well, I'm, we're, we're, we're gonna play with shoes today. And, and so I put my foot up kind of flat with the sole of my shoe up to his face to kind of try to stop him from, from approaching me this way. And one of the things about lizards is they can open their jaws extremely wide. And he came up to that shoe and he just went, nomph, and he just grabbed onto that shoe and he was just playing. He was just playing. It wasn't a super aggressive attack. Like, he, like I said, he just kind of plodded up to me like, we're, we're gonna play with this. And, and he just grabbed onto that shoe and he was just pushing. And I had steel toes and nail proof soles. I knew he wasn't coming through the shoe, but he was pushing so hard on my foot. You see those big jowls he has, they're all muscle. He's pushing so hard on my foot, it felt like my foot could just double over on itself. I wasn't really sure how much more it could handle. And when he finally did let go, he left gouges in those nail-proof soles. Uh, that shows you a little about how sharp his teeth are. They're like razor blades and just how powerful those jaws are. I've also seen him do the T-Rex run at me. I got Gus Gus uh, when he was still very small and I got him kind of like late summer, early fall. And, and so I had him all through the winter and into the following spring and I'd never taken him outside. Well, lizards see more colors than we do. They see ultraviolet light, UV light, which doesn't come from like our light bulbs in our homes and it doesn't pass through windows. So, you know, the only place he would have ever seen this is inside of his enclosure. He'd never seen me under ultraviolet light. And, and it finally got warm enough, I decided to take him outside. I took one step through the door. The moment I placed one foot through the door, he turned around and looked at me and he's like, what the heck is this thing? 
because he'd never seen me in that light before. And, and immediately he was mouth open coming at me. So I, I set him down and that's when he got up on two legs running at me like T-Rex. Uh, there was a pillow on our porch. And so I held that between the two of us. He grabbed that and pulled that out of my hand. He shook it and threw it. Everything after that is a blur. But somehow I got him back into the house and then he was fine, totally fine. Uh, but that T-Rex run with his mouth open, that's horrifying. The reality is though, he's basically a lizard dog. And I should mention that the worst animal related injury I've ever received was from our family dog. I was almost killed by our Alaskan Malamute as a small child. I nearly lost an eye and I had to have facial reconstructive surgery. Dogs are dangerous, especially if they're poorly trained. Well, the same is true in many cases to a lesser degree with big lizards. So training is essential if you want to have a good relationship with your pet. And one of the best ways to get yourself bitten by a tegu is when it thinks it's being fed. Tegus are smart. It won't take them long to figure out that you are the source of food. And every time you come to that enclosure, your tegu will come at you expecting food. That is part of the reason why many people overfeed their tegus. Only after they're satiated can they be interacted with safely. But that isn't a recipe for a long-lived tegu. So, how do you change this? You change the object that the tegu associates with food. This is a target. Many years ago, I noticed that Gus Gust had picked up on the fact that when I was feeding him, I generally had a small yellow-orange object with me. So, interestingly, I started target training him without intending to do so. He's observant. He noticed. And I noticed that if I held that object to the glass, he would approach it aggressively and would mouth at the glass like he was trying to eat it. I used this to my advantage. I would hold that object to the glass with one hand while I retrieved his food bowl with the other. This alone was very valuable because he also associated that food bowl with food, so retrieving it was quite a dangerous endeavor. But then I got systematic. I had a temperature gun that was the same color as the object he had originally noticed. It was always in my reptile room. I made sure every time before I fed Gus Gus that I would hold that temperature gun against the glass and that I always rewarded him for coming to it by feeding him immediately after. I also made sure that I never let him see it or anything similar to it at any other times. These things are both essential to successful target training. You must be consistent about offering your award and you must be sure not to confuse your lizard by presenting the target at other times. Recently, Leisha made this official target for me. She thought a temperature gun just wasn't official enough. She matched the color very well. I really like this target. I can tell you the first time that I held it up to him, he came over to inspect it, but he didn't mouth at it as he would if it were his target. He didn't do that until I held up the temperature gun next to it. I had to do that about two times before he figured out that this new target works the same way as the temperature gun. He's smart. Now I use the target alone, and this is the consequence. If I come to the enclosure, even if I open it up and put it in my hands, he does not come to me expecting food. Hey, Gusterton. He'll come to me, because we're pals. Come here, buddy. Good boy. You a good boy? You a good boy, Mr. Gus? Yeah. You're such a good tegu. You're such a good tegu. Come here. How's it going, dude? Hmm? You a good boy? Yeah. What a good boy you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. You're just a best. He just comes for attention and maybe to come out for a walk. And I can interact with him safely even if he's hungry because he knows that before he's fed, he'll see the target. No target, no food. He just scratches. Okay, give us some scratches on the noggin. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? Oh. And it's amazing. This doesn't only work with tegus, but really any food motivated visual intelligent animal. And if they aren't food motivated, you probably don't have much to worry about. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. But right now, I want to show you what he does when he sees the target. So Gusser, then, come here buddy. My hand, my hand, everything's fine, right? Hey Gus. 
everything's fine. But if I show him the target, and if you don't have a target, that's the way he responds to you. Good boy, come here. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you to our patrons at Patreon. This enclosure is the enclosure I built for Gus Gus in my basement several years ago, and it's eight feet by four feet. It's a pretty sizable enclosure, but I want something even grander for Gus Gus here at Clint's Reptile Room. And because of your support on Patreon, that's going to become a reality in the very near future. And as a way of saying thank you, we try to provide a whole host of awesome features just to make it worth your while. So thank you again. If you're interested in the, seeing those features, maybe supporting us, please check out our Patreon. Mm -hmm.